Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make this background. Let's make a new document, go to File, New and set the profile to Web, click OK. Next, let's change the stroke color to None and the fill color to Dark Purple. Now we will cover the whole artboard with this color. To do that, select the Rectangle tool, click on the top left corner, hold and drag it to the bottom right corner. Then let it go. Next, open the Gradient panel. If you don't see it, go to Window and select Gradient. And let's drag this purple color down to the slider. Now click on this slider box, open the Swatches panel and while pressing down the ALT key, choose a different color. Next, we will lock this layer and create a new layer. Now let's change the fill color to none and the stroke color to white. Next, we will cover this artboard with lots of little polygons. Select the Polygon tool, click somewhere here and while pressing down the Shift key, draw a small polygon. Now let's make a copy, click on it, hold and pressing down the Shift and Alt keys, drag it down until it snaps. Then release your mouse and press Ctrl D four times to make more copies. Now select all, click on it, hold and pressing down the Alt key, move it down here to bound it with the other column. Now let's copy these two columns and press Ctrl D four times to make more copies. Let's zoom out, select everything, right click with your mouse and select group. Next, we will add another layer of polygons on top of the existing one. Press Ctrl C to copy and Ctrl F to paste in front. You can see both layers when I move this one up. Let's undo it and let's swap the fill and the stroke color for this layer so we will have white fill and no stroke. To do that, just press this double-sided arrow. Now we will change the opacity of this layer. Let's open the transparency window and change the opacity to 60%. Next we will randomly choose several polygons and change their opacity to a different number. Select the group selection tool and holding down the shift key Select several polygons. They can be far away from each other or they can touch. And let's change the opacity of this group to about 50%. Now let's select another group of polygons. and change the opacity of this group to 80%. Let's select one more group. And change the opacity to 90%. Next, select everything, right click and choose Group. Open the transparency window and set the blending mode to soft light. Next, we will duplicate this layer. 
click on it, hold and pressing down the Alt key, move it down. Now let's resize it. And rotate it to get a different effect. Now if you like you can still go and change the color of your background to something different. Let's lock the top layer and unlock the bottom layer. Select this layer, now click on the fill box, open the gradient panel and change the color to something different. Let's choose dark orange. and dark yellow. Next let's make a clipping mask and get rid of all the white polygons. Select the rectangle tool, click on this corner, hold and drag it down to this corner. Now select everything, go to object Clipping mask and choose make. And here is your background. Now you can add a logo or text to it. Create a new layer. Change the fill color to black. Select the type tool. Set the font style and size. And type your text. You can modify your text any way you want it. And of course, you can always go back to your background layer and change the gradient's direction or type. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.